So I'm going to start doing my cylinder head install here. As you can see, I got my, one of the cylinder heads. I uh, haven't done the other one yet. Obviously, I still need to do the rest of the bottom end, but this is what I have here. This is the Vortec head that I picked up. Uh, believe it or not, it's from O'Reilly's. It's freshly refurbished, so they did a valve job, got new seals on it. Uh, the spring tensions are at least tested. I'm not sure if they're reused or not. Um, these are press-in studs, and they have a limit of about uh, 425 thousandths uh, of lift. Maybe in some applications you get up to 450 and be okay. But for me, my cam is at 426, so should be fine. Um, you can see the valves. Um, they aren't huge. They're good. Um, these heads are known for, you know, they have a pretty small combustion chamber and they're pretty good flowing. So that's why I went with them and they're cheap. So uh, that's what I went with. Um, I washed them off, put them in a bag here uh, just for uh, keeping them safe from the elements basically. So now I already wiped off the top of my block, wiped off my pistons, got my head gasket here and this is the right side up so um, you can put that upside down so got it right side up got that on and I'll get my head cleaned off and then I'll just drop it on there I just cleaned it off and up the head so should be able to drop it on now there are two dowels that'll drop into and then once it drops just sits on there really nice. There are alignment dowels on here right there and there and so when you get the head on here it just kind of sits down on there and that's it. So now I'm gonna get my bolts out and start torquing her down. One thing to note here is that there are different sizes of bolts. Um, you can see from the color of the head that that matches the short bolt. So um, basically, if you look at the head like this, the level of the short bolts on the outside are very short. Now the tall bolts are all the way up here, but then there are four bolts total, so two on each head, that are about right here. And draw the line. So on the outsides of the heads, there are two bolts on each head. Are this tall or is that tall? So, the short bolt for Another thing to think about or to note on these is that each and every bolt has a thread locker on it and they come that way. Um, if you're reusing bolts, that's fine, but you need to put a thread sealant on it because every single bolt on here goes right into a water jacket. Now, I don't know how well I can show this off, but if you look down in that bolt hole and I shine the light right there, you can see right through there. So that's where the head bolt's in. And that's the same case on every single bolt. So that's why you use a thread sealant on all the cylinder head bolts. And then there's just a torque sequence to follow. It's quite simple. Torque it down in three equal increments. I'll start doing this and then, uh, uh, I'll show you how it goes.
torqued and I'm ready to go to the other side. So that's all there is to it. The cylinder head is not too bad. Um, I'll get to the other side and I'll get my pan on yet. Yeah.